it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I want to say a massive thank you to Mark's Beer Reviews. Thank you, Mark, for this beer. Sitting around a breakfast table with Mark at Brew London about, about three weeks, a month ago now. And he handed me a couple of beers. This and a Sierra Nevada Adnams collaboration called Eastern Edge. So I'm going to be looking at this today. It's a dry hopped Zwickel unfiltered beer from Bitburger and Deschutes. So Bitburger in Germany, Deschutes in America. It's 4.9% ABV. Uh, Zwickel, it translates to Keller beer. It's a type of Keller beer. So that means unfiltered, unfined beer in Germany. It's, well, I've cooled this one down nicely. I've got out the fridge with about 15 minutes on the shelf, just to warm it up a little bit. But I'm really interested in this. I'm really interested to see what they've done here. I've had a few Deschutes beers over the time, uh, over the last 12 years. I've had I've had the Bitburger, Bitburger. Don't think I've had anything else from them. Uh, that seemed pretty tidy as a, as a German style lager. But we brew with friends, it says on the side of the can. Oh. Now, apparently, there's three different ways you can spell Zwickel in German. And the three types of spelling it translates to the three slightly different styles of Keller beer. Slightly confusing, I know. Uh, this way of spelling it looks like it's the darker, slightly darker looking Keller beer that we have in our hands. There's probably, I think there's a Zwickel with, spelt with E-L on the end, and that's a lighter version. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then there's another version. But if I talk about it too much, I'm just going to become really, really confused. <laughs> so I'm just going to get on with the beer review. Um, we got good levels of slow-moving carbonation rising up the side of the glass. Nice, hazy-looking, unfiltered, unfined beer. One to two finger white head. Let's get the aroma then. Ah, it smells delicious. Mmm, really light malts coming through. Slightly biscuity. A little bit of honey, maybe, if I'm not imagining it. A little bit of honey. Oh, that smells good. Very complex. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, um, wow, that's um, that's very different. Uh, with it being dry hopped, they, they've dry hopped it, but with traditional German hops. I thought maybe they would have used the opportunity with brewing with Deschutes Brewery in America to maybe use some American hops, maybe, but they definitely gone down the route of using a more traditional German hop and it's 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 leaving a really lingering long bitterness that kind of really stays with you for a long time but then saying that the second taste was of a, a bit of a mango, a bit of a pineapple. So it is there, it is there slightly, the American hop, but it leaves a really long lingering bitterness, which I quite like actually, um, dry hopped with a dry hop bitterness, rather than dry hopping for a load of flavour. The other flavours are that kind of classic biscuit, Pardon me, breadiness is coming through in the beer. It 
definitely a sweetness to begin with and maybe a little bit of honey. It's absolutely delicious. 4.9% ABV if I haven't given the ABV yet. I reckon you could, you could definitely enjoy a few pints of this. And this is, this is what German brewing is all about. It's all about having a few pints. They produce some of the best lagers in the world to the Germans. And it's, it's all about kind of having another one, having another one, having a good session on a beer. This, this is decent. Little bit of mango, little bit of lemon. It's decent, but I can't help but think only a little bit because it's a very, very good beer. This is a top top quality beer look at the lacing on the glass look as i rock rock the beer back and forth you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass it is a terrific terrific beer but i can't help but think only a little bit that maybe the shoots brewery could have, could have influenced this a little bit more and added a little bit more of that kind of american hop flavour that we all know and love. Perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps being a Keller beer, the Schutz just wanted to go over to Bitburger and produce a terrific German style Keller beer. Perhaps it was just the experience of brewing with Bitburger that allowed them to, to just brew this really good quality Keller beer, this fickle. Perhaps they didn't want to make it over kind of America eccentric and, and, and add a load of hops to the beer. Perhaps it was just about the experience for the for the Deschutes Brewing Company, which I would fully understand. I would fully understand that. But there's a small part of me. It's very small. It's a very small part of me that thinks this 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 could have probably had just a little bit more or a little bit of some American hop in there just to just to just to give the, the the beer i mean it's a terrific color beer Ooh. it really is maybe just to give it a little bit of an american edge but perhaps i'm wrong comment in the comments box this this could be a terrific discussion in the comments box here today is this about an american influence on a german brewer or is this American brewers going over to Germany to, to experience how Calabias are made and just to just to take in the experience of of proper German quality brewing techniques. It's a tremendous beer, it really is. It's it's really, really, really tasty. Really, really tasty. Very drinkable, very refreshing. It's got more of a body than a than a just a just a pilsner. There's more of a kind of a bready, malty body to it. Um, is there anything? It's all in. Ah, here we are in 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 the boxes. It's in English. Water, malted barley, hops, hop extract, yeast contains barley. Brewed in collaboration with the Schutz Brewing Company. And that's it, really. There's no real kind of story going on. There's nothing on the back of the can. I imagine there's something on the website. Check out their website. But, yeah, I, I like Bitburger when I reviewed Bitburger. I can't remember. I think I might have bought it in Lidl a couple of years back. I think I found Bitburger in Lidl. And I was like, oh, I've heard of, I've heard of this beer. I'm going to... Pick some of pick some of these cans up and and, and give it a review. Dry hops, fickle, Bitburger, Deschutes Brewery. Let's give this a final thoughts and a rating. Um, as you can see, the quality of the beer is tremendous. That lovely lacing, that fantastic carbonation, the the deep amber hue, the haziness that's going on. Lovely biscuity, malty aroma. Now, as I'm able to wash the beer around in the glass. And a tremendous example of a of a of a beer that's been dry hot. Yeah, I like it. 
I like that. It's really tasty. Um, the discussion is there whether whether it could have maybe had a touch of American hops in there. But that's just up for discussion. It's not going to kind of come into my thoughts when I rate the beer, when I give it that final rating, which for me is a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Again, massive thank you to Max Beer Reviews for giving me the can. Um, look forward to seeing Mac again soon. We'll have a couple of beers together. But please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!